Okay. No way. There's no way you're doing that. At least I think I'm funny. Getting rid of the fog. Don't like fog in Norway, it scares me. Uh, Les Super Montagnes. The only one I've not done is the Scholar. I've not driven that before. Because that was added in the latest patch. At least this one's stacked up to be, because uh, I only did Japan yesterday. This one's stacked up to be Norway, Germany, because Germany, Kenya is pretty brutal on double. Ice cold. Oh, it's better than here. I'm fucking too hot. Been out riding all fucking day. It was way too hot. At the end, literally everyone just fucked off home.
Shit. Uh, I don't know. Well, I think it hit like 26 when I was out. Like, fuck off. Shit. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. But I got a banana milkshake that's in the fridge at the minute because I like. We got to. On the way back, a couple of people needed the toilet, a couple of people were like, oh, fuck it. We all wanted a, a couple of people wanted an ice cream and a little quick stop. So we got an ice cream stop, I had a magnum, and uh, I saw in the fridge, I was like, whoa, a couple of people having cokes, I was like, whoa, banana milkshake. Love it. So I got it, but after I'd had my magnum, I was like, I can't, I don't feel like I can have this banana this banana milkshake right now so I back pocketed it and by the time I wanted it on the way home I was like ah it's gonna be warm it's gonna be nicer if I just don't drink it on the way home smack it in the fridge when I get home and have a bit later so that's what I've done so yeah I'm pretty pretty on it gonna be happy with that I might have it tomorrow Yeah, I might have it tomorrow. It was a good ride though. 117 kilometers. Bit shorter than uh, we were expecting. But chill 117k. Bit of a sour taste in my mouth because I keep getting left at on the, at the end. I'm waiting around for people, and everybody else like there's a fast faster people shoot off and leave a bunch of people behind, and I'm sort of sat there going, I either have to be an asshole and drop and fucking drop the people who are already dropped and just leave them on their own, or I just kind of ride with them, so I end up just riding with them. I feel be I feel better doing that, even if I'd rather ride. I only really get annoyed by it if there's people that I've not spoken to who I want to speak to who I then don't get to speak to because I'm riding at the back. It's the only time I really get annoyed. But I spent pretty much the entire time talking to the main person I wanted to speak to. So, I'm good. I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty fucking happy on the old The thing that annoys me is when they don't wait at corners. It's like, wait at fucking junctions. Look over your shoulder, realise there's people behind you. It's all well and good saying, oh well everybody knows the way back from here. But, at the same time, do they, for one. Because one of the lads missed the turn. He was completely on his own and he missed the turn. Uh, and had to come back, so that's up for him. For two, when we're going to Hunstanton, which is just an outward trip, no one's going to know the route. You can't just be buggering off in the last ten minute, ten miles. And yeah, I don't know. There's a couple of people being a bit elitist dicks, like, oh, can they? Can, 
can they do the speed? Can they do the... Sp oh, but you're going to go slow. And it's like, well, fucking don't spend an hour in the calf. We spent an hour in the calf today. If we don't spend an hour in the calf, if we order our food, then while we're waiting for our food to come, everybody goes to the toilet, fills their water bottles up, gets all that done. Rather than as soon as we're about to leave, everyone's getting their bottles filled up. And then, yeah, I don't know, fuck it. I've moaned about this too much while doing this challenge, because... But my Strava KOM! No one's getting any bloody Strava KOMs! No one in our group's getting a Strava KOM. No one, no one's getting a Strava KOM. Half of them ain't getting Strava PBs, because they've been grinding for too long. And it's too hot today to get a PB. Uh... And yes, slutty Saturday. I couldn't put the word. It popped up with uh, this this title maybe against Twitch's TOS, so we're not going to let you put it. So you know, just put a star in it. It's fine. You're allowed to do that. I bet if I put only one T as well, I bet it'd work. Yeah. Hope there's no one coming the other way up this trail. There's a funny one near me that's uh, called Single Track Down. And the PB is impossible to get if you actually take the single track. Because it's just close enough to a road that the road picks up the segment. So you, there's no way that you're going to get it while taking the single track path down the hill. Because someone on a road bike's done it. <laughs> Fucking pinged it on the flat. On the on the road. <sighs> the other thing that was a shame was because I was behind with... Uh, with a smaller group of riders. I wasn't able to kind of nip and there's, there's a little track near to where that one actually um, there's a track one way goes on this bridle way farm track rutted rocky rooty nice off nice little bit of off-roading nice little bit of gravel um, and the other one's just a boring hill road hill had to do it on the road hill because I couldn't just piss off halfway with, with enough people, I can just sod off and ride a bit faster up the off-road one, pedal a bit harder, and I get up to the top of the hill at the same time as everyone else. It's fine. But when you're in a small group, you can't really just sod off and go ride up the off-road bit as much as I'd love to. Is that where the shortcut is? Oh well. I am, however, a bit knackered, if I'm honest. If I'm perfectly honest, it's very warm.
Nah, spe I'm speed running. Can't take the jump. I always crash when I take the jump. So I just never bother taking it since I've learned you could cut it out because it literally is like every time take the jump and crash. Because there's not really enough time to break after it. I took the jump in the logging truck though. Jump off the long fast section jump. It's this jump here. Oh no. What well, that jump was it? I think I know the way you mean. my chair not going anywhere. Go on. Come back. Hope my camera's not on because otherwise my pants are showing. Disadvantage of being in a skirt is that when you put your legs up, your arse hangs out. Advantage of being in a skirt, you put your legs up, your arms your arse hangs out and it's much cooler. That one I often overjump, that little bump. I've got pants on. Balls on out. Proper ventilation, though, it's, it's a requirement of proper ventilation. I don't want my ass to grow mould.
There we go. Sent it. Did have a look yesterday uh, as I was uploading all my other runs. I seem to be gaining about a minute per class since group two. Don't know how long it was taking in group in the pre-groups because I don't have the actual in-game times, but I seem to be gaining a minute of in-game time ish per group faster, a minute over 12 tracks. Which is interesting because it it kind of explains the fact that it doesn't feel much faster. Like I don't um the top speed doesn't seem to get any faster. The total time that it's taking. Yeah, only really a minute. If you go to speedrun.com, search for Art of Rally. And I've got Finland for group 2, 3 and 4 now. So if you have a look at those in-game times. It'd be interesting to see once we've done all of the... Once I've done all the classes, uh, how long it takes. Now it won't be the best of things because obviously there's some classes where like group B is going to get shagged a bit in terms of its overall speed because I'm going to be using a different car for every run whereas three, 2, 3 and 4 I've had a few runs at the end with uh, once I've got through all the cars where I just picked whichever car I wanted in general I'm picking meta cars or at least, you know, I'm not picking cars that are a bit shit. And I get a chance to practice with them and understand how they drive. Whereas, by the, like I've said before, by the time I get to the 12th track of this, I'll have understood how this car drives. I feel like I've kind of got it now. But, you know, I'll properly understand it by the time that I get to the last track. And feel comfortable driving it. Uh, and then I'll swap off of it and never use it again, probably. Group B has 17 cars. There's 16 runs to be done. If you'll notice, <laughs> those numbers don't line up. Therefore, I'm dropping the van. Because I did the entire vans category. And... Yeah, it'll be fine. But it's allowed in Art of Rally Group B, so that's the important thing. Making a GUI app. I'm just gonna maybe add the ability to search it. I'm I'm trying to think if there's a better way to do it at the minute. I think my best way to do it is going to be 
have user input validation right at the top. If nothing or if if it's either enough basically have each of the countries check against each of the countries and if it's nothing or it's wrong it, like they've spelled it wrong or whatever then it's going to quit out so basically just take the list of countries and check that the list of countries contains the, the thing that they've typed in and if it does, we're good. Just search for that. And I think I'm just going to wrap it so that it spits out all of a country's class. I mean, if you want to make it command line arguments, that's perfectly fine by me if you want to do that. Save me some fucking work, because I was just going to put an input command at the top of the script and say, basically, press enter. Press enter and we'll give you everything. The other option would be to do it anyway, iterate through them, and split it by class and country anyway, and then it, <clears throat> instead of dumping it to the, to the console, just, well dump it to the console anyway, but dump it to the console and dump it to a file. Like, the things that I'd want would be... I'd basically, I want to be able to ask it for Group 4 Finland. It doesn't matter if... Like, because if I want Group 4 Finland... If I want to say to you... Okay, we're going to have a fight and it's going to be Group 4 Finland and Germany. But then you've got people who want to do it in the rain and not in the rain, and that's that's when you start to get a lot of options. Oh, I only want the forwards direction in the dry. That's the problem. And, like, I don't have the programming knowledge to make that not a fucking mess. Well, you know? Get your programming socks gonna send the rust code. Are you really Are we re are you really continuing with the rust? And adding the parameters to the rust? And also can do not because I don't actually I understand rust but I would not be able to hack it. Okay.
Like, I've programmed in Rust before, I understand Rust, I can... I can read basically any programming language at this point. That's, you know, that's the level of programming that I'm in, but I would not be able to write Rust and, like, hack it. See, this is where Rust is actually going to be, end up actually being faster if we were putting in, putting in all of the things where it gets Finland group, you know, Finland group data. Yeah. The thing is, there's some times where you would actually want that kind of performance, but the fact is the Python, if you can run this game, then the Python's going to run in less than a second. No matter how many bullshit adverts we... Uh, adverts? Additions. No adverts. Please, no adverts. No matter how many bullshit additions that we add to this to make it an absolute mess, the Python's still going to run in less than a second if you can run Art of Rally. Plus, actually, Python's going to be the best because it's just cross-platform compatible. Otherwise, we'd have to compile it for Windows and check it actually works on Windows. Because it would be nice to have everyone else able to, you know, run this. 26, 36, 72. Cheers, Dabo.